Hello guys, and welcome back to Photographics Academy. All right, so today we're going to be looking at a very interesting topic. I'm going to be showing you quickly in a few minutes how you can turn your white skin tones into amazing dark skin tones. Into amazing dark skin tones, and you can probably control the effects if you want. So without wasting much of your time, let's get straight to work. So the first thing we'll be doing is to add contrast or enhance the contrast of the skin tone because majorly most black skin tones are always high contrast skin tone. So I'm just going to create a black and white adjustment there. Increase my reds to add a little contrast and my yellows. Then change the blend mode to multiply. Yeah, multiply. So it's already looking like a dark skin tone already. Just like that. So I'm going to reduce the opacity definitely just to make it look good, beautiful. So we're going to be opening it up later. I think I need to open this one up a little. The shadows are quite too deep. Nice. So the next thing we'll look at is our selective color. So we'll go to selective color. So we'll add more reds. So you can just slide towards the right, towards the left to see exactly where the dark skin tones for your skin are. So for this case, I think it's somewhere more of cyan. So this is adding a lot of green. So I'm going to take it towards the magenta-ish parts then darken it a little like this so i'm going to increase the black and white a little more you can as well play around your blend modes to see the one that gives you that skin tone you want so i think for this particular image multiply is the best option so one more thing we're going to create is hue adjustment layer so go to your hue adjustment layer pick your hand to select any part of the skin then reduce the opacity so drop, add not opacity rather the saturation. So drop it towards the, just drop it down a little. You can open up the blacks. I think I need to add it up a little. Just something like this. So this is before, this is after. This is before, this is after, this is before, this is after. So one more thing we'll add is our filter. So we'll go to photo filter. Make sure we we'll add a cooling effect because it always has a cooling tone to it. So we'll just add a cooling tone. Don't worry, it's all over the image, but we'll target just the skin and you will see amazing, tremendous uh, effect that we've made. So you can just play around your sliders to make sure that you are getting a very dark skin tone. I think I like this one here. It's a bit too much. So let's add one more curves adjustment layer to open up the shadows a little. So we'll just come to the shadows just a little more, finish up a little like this. Beautiful. So you can create one more to now add contrast. Just small. Okay, nice. So let me group all of this together. So this is before. This is after. Now I want to target just the skin tone. I want to target just the skin tone. So it doesn't jump around. The effect doesn't jump around on the whole image here and there. I want to target just the skin tone. So to do that, we'll go, to, we'll go back into the group. Select our black and white. Go to select go to color range so want to target just the skin tone i've already done the selection that's why the skin tone is just selected so let me redo it again so i'll just let me just click somewhere okay so we'll spoil the selection so i'll just pick the skin go to the plus icon the plus eyedropper and start picking every other part of the skin that was not perfectly selected like this so you can decide to increase the haziness as well so look at this area like that so you can decrease the haziness so i'm seeing a little bit of the hair tie in the selection so let me just drop the haziness down fuzziness rather down a little then add every other part of the skin that is not properly selected nice beautiful so you can press okay so every other thing is applied on every other part of the image except our black and white so what you do is hold your alternate key then drag from this mask and just copy it over every other part of the adjustment layers we created just like that and we are targeting just the skin like that so one more adjustment layer i want to create over all of this i think my black and white is quite too high i think it's quite too high okay so one more adjustment layer i want to create above all of this is color balance so we'll go to color balance now you know that when we are talking of black skin tones or dark skin tones it's a little bit of more magenta-ish than reddish or and it's cooler than warm so what we'll do is that we'll go to our mid-tones drag it towards the magenta slide a little then add a cooler effect to it 
maybe a little bit of red, just a little bit like that. Then go into our shadows, repeat the same thing, a little magenta. I think this one will have to warm it up a little. We we'll have to warm it up a little. Of course, we are going to reduce the opacity. So just play around the sliders to get the perfect one that suits your image. Just a little like that. Beautiful. So we'll just cool it off a little. Just like that. Nice. Okay, so we'll still do the same thing with the mask. Copy and replace. Then drop down the opacity just a little. So we'll now generally drop the opacity of the whole group. So it doesn't look unrealistic. Just like that. Now let's look at the overall before and after. This was the image before we started all the adjustments. This is after, this is before, this is after, this is before, this is after. One more thing you can do, let me teach you how you can quickly export all of this as a color lookup table. So simple, you can do that by deleting all the mask and exporting it or deselecting the mask so it doesn't, so your color lookup table doesn't assume the mask that you selected like that, beautiful. So now we have all the mask deselected we we'll select the group, go to edit, go to export, rather go to file, go to export, go to color lookup tables. You can decide to name it anything you want to name it. So press OK. So I'm going to deselect IC profile, just these ones. I'm going just for 3D because I don't have a lot of space to occupy all of that. So I'm going to save it right inside the same folder. Press save. So my color lookup table is saved. So I can now reload my mask like that. Can I reload my mask? Nice. Okay, so one more time. This is before. This is after. This is before. This is after. All right. So um, I want to apply the same lot that we just created on this particular image. Let's be sure that it's giving us the effect that we desire. So simply go to your color lookup tables. Go to load 3D lots because we saved as 3D lots. So I'm already in the folder. So I'll just change this to 3D lot and it's going to pick it up. I'll press load and bam, look at that. See the way it's respecting the colors, keeping everything natural. So this is before, this is after, this is before, this is after. Thank you very much for watching this amazing video. Please do make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to ring the bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video. Until then, see you next time.